When you feel all alone in this world And there's nobody to count your tears Just remember no matter where you are Allah knows Allah knows When you're carrying a monster load And you wonder how far you can go Every step on that road Perish the hands of the Father of Flame. Perish he. No profit to him from all his wealth and all his gains. Burnt soon will he be in a fire of blazing flame. His wife shall carry the crackling wood as fuel, a twisted rope of palm leaf fiber round her own neck. His real name was Abd al Uzza. The Quran names him as Father of Flames, which means Abu Lahab. The wife of Abu Lahab was Umm Jamil. Every night, Umm Jamil bunched cuckleburs, thorns, and thorny branches and knit them together on her neck, threw and spread them on the way of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him so that they would sting on his foot and thus hurt him at night. We refer the persecution and cruelty of these two people against Muslims to the related books and analyze only the news of this surah related to the Ghaib, unseen, unknown, and it's turning out to be true. The surah of Tabat informed us that Abu Lahab and his wife would die on disbelief and this turned out to be true as it had been informed. This surah gives news from the Ghaib. It is not possible for a person to know the Ghaib and future on his own and to inform about the end of some people. Since it is not possible, we can say that the Quran, which informs about the Ghaib, is the book and word of Allah. Now, let us analyze this proof deeply. The Quran informs us that Abu Lahab and his wife would die on disbelief and go to hell. How do those who do not accept the Quran as the book of Allah and deny it can answer the following questions? 1. Abu Lahab died seven years after the revelation of the Surah of Tabat. That is, the verses of Tabat were not revealed while Abu Lahab was on his deathbed. Contrarily, they informed about his end seven years earlier. If it were not the book of Allah, God forbid, then how could a person know that Abu Lahab would die on disbelief? 2. At the beginning of Islam, there were many enemies of Islam, but as the time passed, all of them entered Islam one by one and pledged allegiance to the Prophet, peace be upon him. Among them were also people such as Khalid ibn al-Walid, Abu Sufyan, Amir ibn As, who had fought against Muslims. Besides, there were people like Hazrat Washi, who martyred Hazrat Hamza and Hazrat Hind, who removed the heart of Hamza. All of these people repented for what they had done and deserved the titles of Sahaba and Hazrat. Just like these people, it was possible for Abu Lahab and his wife to repent and this would have been natural. However, it was revealed by the Quran that they would not repent and die on disbelief. No so if the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, were not the Apostle of Allah, no and the Quran were not the word of Allah, 
then how had it been known that Abu Lahab and his wife were to die on disbelief? Three, a wise person does not assert a claim regarding subjects that will make him a liar. Above all, he does not say anything about the Ga'ib, unseen, that will refute him. Now think of the following. The Quran says, Abu Lahab and his wife will die on disbelief. If Abu Lahab or his wife had said that I became a Muslim and repented, the aforementioned news of the Quran would not have turned out to be true, and this would mean the cancellation of the case of the Quran. And if Abu Lahab or his wife had said, we became Muslims in a misleading manner as a hypocrite, then the trueness of the Quran and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would have been destroyed at once. While the Quran says, he will die on disbelief, that person will say, I have become a Muslim. So how could you explain the news of the Quran from Ga'ib? The Quran stated that Abu Lahab and his wife would die on disbelief during a very critical moment, and Abu Lahab died on disbelief after seven years, as it had been informed. If the Quran were not the word of Allah, but a fictitious work of a person, God forbid, then could that person claim such a thing which would reveal his lie? Would you do so if you were him? Of course not. Then how can you explain this news and its trueness other than the fact that Quran is the word of Allah? Yes, the Quran says, he will die on disbelief, and he died on disbelief after seven years. Despite all of his enmity, he could not say, I believe, in a factitious way in order to refute this verse of the Quran. He could not utter the word of belief even for appearance sake. In order to know this, it is necessary to be pre-eternal and post-eternal and have the knowledge of all times and places at the same time, and this attribute belongs to Allah, Almighty only. So, we give the Quran's future information about the death of Abu Lahab and his wife on disbelief and the complete trueness of this news as a proof and say that the Quran is the book and word of Allah who knows the worlds of Ga'ib best. The news of Quran from the unseen or unknown Ga'ib cannot be explained by anything other than this decree. تبت يدا أبي لهب وتب ما أغنى عنه ماله وما كسب سيصلى نارا ذات لهب وامرأته حمالة الحطب في جيدها حبل